the early morning of November 13, 1974, a house in Amityville, Long Island, New York, transformed from a typical suburban residence into a horrifying crime scene. Ronald DeFeo Jr. Ronald DeFeo Jr. prowled the halls with a rifle, murdering his parents and four siblings in their sleep. DeFeo later claimed that voices in his head compelled him to commit the heinous act. And some still believe today that he was indeed influenced by malevolent spirits residing within the infamous Amityville Horror House at 112 Ocean Avenue. Despite the notorious 1974 killings, numerous families have since inhabited the house, now listed as 108 Ocean Avenue. The alleged paranormal events that took place there have inspired numerous books and films, such as the Amityville Horror, which continue to attract tourists to the house. While DeFeo's gruesome crimes were undeniably real, the question remains, could he have been under the control of evil spirits that haunted the Lutz family, who moved in shortly after the murders? Immerse yourself in the chilling history of the Amityville Horror House through the haunting images and captivating stories. This infamous abode has witnessed both a gruesome crime and persistent paranormal activity, leaving an enduring mark on modern history. The Amityville Murders and Ronald DeFeo Jr.'s Confession On the fateful night of November 13, 1974, 23-year-old Ronald DeFeo Jr. committed a heinous crime that would forever be etched in the pages of American history. Armed with a 35 caliber rifle, he ruthlessly murdered six of his family members as they slumbered. His parents, Louise and Ronald DeFeo Sr., and his siblings, Dawn, Allison, Mark, and John Matthew. Despite confessing to the gruesome killings, DeFeo's defense later attempted to argue insanity. He claimed to have been driven by malevolent voices that commanded his actions. This claim, coupled with the chilling nature of the murders, fueled speculation that the DeFeo family's home at 112 Ocean Avenue was haunted. However, a closer examination of DeFeo Jr.'s life reveals a different perspective on the events. Growing up in a dysfunctional household marked by an abusive father and a passive mother, DeFeo Jr. endured a troubled childhood. As an adult, he struggled with substance abuse and had a history of violent outbursts, including threatening his father with a gun. Despite his parents' attempts to provide support, DeFeo Jr. remained unemployed and unstable. On the fateful day, DeFeo Jr. departed work and visited a bar. He repeatedly attempted to contact his residents but received no response, expressing his frustration to patrons. He eventually left the bar, only to return at 6.30 a.m. exclaiming, Help me! I believe my parents have been shot! Upon arrival, authorities discovered the six family members deceased in their beds, each shot with a rifle at approximately 3.15 a.m. They were positioned on their stomachs, with no evidence of a struggle or drug use. Despite the DeFeo dogs barking, no local reports of gunshots were recorded. DeFeo Jr.'s alibi underwent multiple revisions, initially claiming he was at the bar during the murders, and later alleging that a mob hitman had killed his family and forced him to watch. Ultimately, he confessed to the crimes and faced trial on October 14, 1975. Defense attorney William Weber attempted to present an insanity plea, but the prosecution maintained that DeFeo Jr. was a drug user who was fully aware of his actions that night. He was found guilty of six counts of second-degree murder and sentenced to six concurrent terms of 25 years to life. The Lutz Family The alleged haunting of the Amityville Horror House did not commence until after the Lutz family moved in during December 1975. George and Kathy Lutz believed they had acquired the 4,000 square foot home for a bargain price of $80,000, but they vacated the premises 28 days later due to terrifying experiences that purportedly forced them to flee. In a series of eerie events, the Lutz family reportedly experienced strange occurrences such as green slime seeping from the walls, mysterious eyes peering into their home, and foul odors along with Kathy Lutz allegedly levitating in bed. This unsettling period served as the basis for Jay Anson's 1977 book, The Amityville Horror, which later inspired the 1979 film of the same name. Remade in 2005, 
The book became a bestseller, and the film turned into a classic, attracting numerous horror enthusiasts to the town. Anson's book relied on 45 hours of the Lutz family's recorded interviews, and one of the three Lutz children, Christopher Quarantino, confirmed the hauntings. However, he also mentioned that the events were exaggerated by his stepfather, George Lutz. George, who was interested in the occult, tried to summon spirits, and had a financial incentive to sell his story to the media due to the family's significant debt. William Weber, the attorney for Ronald DeFeo Jr., claimed that the haunting was a hoax, which he allegedly concocted with Anson while drinking. Despite the controversy, the house has changed hands multiple times over the years, with only price fluctuations and a change in address being noteworthy. However, the public fascination with the Amityville Horror House has persisted, with many people still eager to experience its supposed terrors. The Dutch colonial home at 112 Ocean Avenue, now known as 108 Ocean Avenue, is a property with five bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and a boathouse on a canal off the Long Island Sound. Despite its appeal, the house went into foreclosure in 1977 after the Lutz family moved out. It was later owned by James and Barbara Cromarty, who changed the address to deter paranormal enthusiasts. The Cromarty family sold the house to Peter and Jean Winnell in 1987, who sold it in 1997 for $310,000. The house was most recently sold for $605,000 in 2017. The New Jersey home used for the 1979 Amityville film's exterior shots was put on the market in 2011 for $1.45 million then dropped to $1.35 million. The owner, Odalis Fragoso, was asked if the house was haunted, but she clarified that ghosts had nothing to do with the sale and that she was merely divorcing her husband. The appeal of the Amityville house and its related New Jersey home seems largely rooted in the exaggerated book and its Hollywood adaptations, with horror fans still visiting, hoping to catch a glimpse of a ghost I'd like to take this time to pay my respects to the victims and all the families that were affected by these heinous acts on both sides. You deserved better and are forever in our prayers. Conclusion The Amityville horror case has been the subject of much controversy and skepticism. Some critics have accused the Lutz family of fabricating their story for financial gain. Others have suggested that the family was experiencing psychological problems or the effects of carbon monoxide poisoning. I suppose no one will ever know the truth about what really happened to the Lutz family at 112 Ocean Avenue in December of 1979. Despite the controversy, the Amityville Horror remains one of the most famous and enduring haunted house stories in American history to this very day. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Killer Cliff Notes, and I'll see you in the next one.